pregame.com. San Diego Chargers visit the New York Jets. The Jets two-point favorites. The total 40 and a half. We're going to go to Steve Fezzik for his best bet of the week. Steve. Wow, high-profile game here. You know, these two teams, San Diego and the Jets, you, you guys start Star Trek fans? Yeah. No. Back on, on the original show, what That's happened? The only one, right? You'd have like a new character that wasn't very, uh, very high-ranked character would yeah. come on out of nowhere, and they'd introduce them. Ensign Papadopoulos, usually in the red shirt. Yeah. Right, right, and and and, and you realize I'm going somewhere with the with the game here. Yeah. Uh, you realize. Wait for the spaceship to come down. Yeah. Well, it's just a matter of time till like they, yeah. they drop some Vulcan rock on them, sure. or they demagnetize them, or they Dead vaporize them. Yeah. They, they, yeah, they, they were expendable. All right, and yeah. this is this has been San Diego and the Jets have been like these extras in Star Trek. We all know that they are going to be dead. It was just a matter of time, whether it's going to be week three or week ten. Hey, I give the Jets some credit. They almost made they made it to the 45-minute commercial before they're, they're out of here. What awful, awful teams. Um, how I don't understand this total. It's 40 and a half. San Diego has played like a schedule of, of over-predominant teams. They had one game in the freezing rain in Cleveland. They lost. That's what San Diego does. Like seven to six. But they, they played against high-scoring teams and absent the, you know, the, one, the one game against Denver went crazy you know, when they're up 24 nothing. But for the most part, this team, the defense has been playing very hard. They've lost all their playmakers on offense. Mm -hmm. It's like Sproles is gone. Their wide receiver is gone to Tampa Bay. They got, they got nobody left. River's mechanics are all screwed up. If you, if you watch them like they show that on the camera on Monday Night Football, you know, where they, they go back, they cock it, and they release it. And then, of course, the bad quarterback you know, does the big, you know, like he's slam right. dunking the ball. But um, he just shot put. So he's yeah. so afraid someone's about his O line is so uh, has cratered so bad on him. He shot, but he's a, he can't bring the ball That's back here. Get knocked out. Gates is taking this year off too, right? G Gates is hurt every year yeah. at the end of the year. It's, he's ineffective now. Um, they're, they're running back as another broken collarbone. It's time for a transplant. Yeah. They're missing a couple offensive yeah. linemen too, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I mean, the, so, so San Diego. I mean, how are they going to score against the Jets defense, which continues to play hard? I mm -hmm. do believe Ryan will continue to get his team motivated to play hard on defense. And now you look, the Jets are going with McElroy and. I'm sure Tebow will get some playing time. How stupid is the AFC West? It's like you look at Denver when they won eight games with Tebow. It's a quarterback draw, people. That's the only play. <laughs> Touchdown. Sorry, you lose, Chiefs. You know, and, and so uh, I, I just can't see. And the red zone is going to be a disaster for both these teams. The Jets, they lost that game against the Titans because of all the turnovers. So they're going to be extra careful with the ball. That's the book on when you turn the ball over like crazy and you have a, a coach that screams at everybody. It's, okay, we're going to protect the ball. I think that this one, first half under, game under, I don't see where the points are coming from. Chuck Gettle. Yeah, and I agree. You know, both obviously these teams have underachieved for the last couple of years at least. I'm, not, I'm still not sure how North Turner even made it this far over in San Diego. It's 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 a mind-boggling. Financial. Strictly. Yeah, it has to be. But you look at, uh, as you mentioned, San Diego's defense has played, has played well. The offense has been it's extremely inconsistent. But when you look at San Diego, when they've played some bad offenses like the Jets, you mentioned the 7-6 to six game uh, in Cleveland. Now that was bad weather, but uh, the, the 10 points that uh, San Diego gave up to Tennessee, Kansas City 13. They really shut down these teams. The, defensively now, uh, San Diego 5.3 yards per play. Jets still only giving up 5.1 yards per play. Jets offense, we, we, we know, you know, what could happen here. I mean, if there's turnovers in the game, things could, could get crazy. But, I mean, both these teams are going to struggle to, to move the ball on each other here. Yeah, the skill position players for the Jets, I'm not even sure I could tell you who they are anymore, really. But McElroy, the quarterback, and that's about as deep as I go. Okay, we've talked about it. Let's go ahead and make it official. Yeah, I'd like to tell you who's going to win this. I'd like to tell you who's going to win this game, but unfortunately, I have no idea. But someone will most likely lose it, Maybe and, tied. and it'll be whichever's offense is unable to score at all. Look for a slog fest, ugly game, 17-13. We're going to go under the total. All right, under. The you know what? I, I definitely have need, to need follow you on this. Two That's minute, we need a two-minute break here. We got to. We got to phone call. Maybe you bet this one early too, because this could be a. Uh, th yeah, this one you might, because especially if we get some bad weather, I mean, it's going to go nowhere. But. Well, one thing that's important to note is that we are taping this right now on Tuesday night, and this game off the Monday night. This line has just kind of hit the marketplace. It really hasn't settled in yet. Exactly. I, I, it'll probably be 39 and a half in a day. Yeah. So you probably want to bet it now. First half too, if you find that. Some people don't put that. If up. you can get a first oh, half later. under 20 and a half, you're stealing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, coming up next, we're going to hear from Steve Fezzik again. He's going to talk about the Giants and the Ravens. Giants a two-and-a-half point favorite in that game. Just a reminder, you can see all our videos at pregame.tv.